Bones are amazing things. They hold us up. They support us. They make us strong. But bones have other uses. In the past, bones were thrown by diviners, seeking out the mysteries of the future. Now the bones are cubes, made of plastic or resin, but they still reveal things to us as they fall from our fingers and rattle across the table. The story becomes clear. Welcome to Bone Thrower's Theater, an RPG actual play podcast. And welcome back to Bone Thrower's Theater. I'm Jeff. I'm playing Demetrius Norden. I'm Johnny. I'm playing Byron Michael. And I'm Jeremy playing Grayson Digby. And I am Mike playing Valentine Montecute. And I am Jordan, and I am... Right now, go, about to play a dog. <laughs> At least one dog. So previously on Bone Thrower's Theater, we had a complete party takedown. Yeah, you, were investi- <laughs> you were investigating the cart where the magical gears had been located. Unfortunately, you were ambushed by a shadowy figure with four archers and two swordsmen. And they owned you. They owned you good Just time. a little bit. Um, so everybody was inca- incapacitated and knocked down, and then you were you were imprisoned. Uh, while you were in prison, Grayson's enemy, <clears throat> Cyril, the brother of the girl he loves, came and visited them in prison and taunted him because uh, he was in prison and and everything like that. And and Cyril said that he had he was going to be lifted up in this world because of his service. To House Dinsham. So you found out that you were in House Dinsham. Byron found, knew from the scuttlebutt and local craftsmen and everything that House Dinsham is very secretive. Not a lot of people go in and out. And you also found out that there is what looks like a Reman priest who is conducting services on the Dinsham estate which is highly illegal any religious services should be of uh, angelin in nature so a lot of a lot of information packed into one very short episode how long ago was the angelin religion declared the official religion well so you had you had beth's father the king and then she had she was actually third in line in succession her there was her brother, um, who was in Angelin, um, who worshipped in the Angelin faith, and then her sister, her half sister, who was actually Reman. So, Beth took the crown about ten years ago, and uh, ever since then, one of her first acts was to make sure that the Angelin Church was reinstated. So now you are you are trying to escape from the Dentium Estate. And uh, as you were, were making it to a tree line, you you heard the baying of a hound because Valentine had actually tripped and fallen and Sorry, guys. Uh, had actually drawn the attention of this foul beast. So as you were going along, you start hearing the, the, the baying of the hounds. If anybody is willing to look back, you would see that some of the guards are taking notice of the animal's behavior. Guys, let's find the river. Is there a stream nearby? Oh. The, there, is, there is. Well, a stream is never going to help. The, yeah, the, river. the river. The river. Because remember, all of these estates are built on the bank of the river. Okay. Yeah. Let's head to the river because I guarantee you this the river is flows south. south. The river I'm does sure flow south. The river flows south. Where going to be coming, which is where we need to go. Uh, can I roll my navigation? Uh, I think. You need to Where get to the to river go. first. At this point, yes. Mm-hmm. You have to escape the we'll dog. Let's come back to us, but... Well, I mean, to know which direction we oh. need to go. If you want to, you could. We should report what we've learned thus far. What'd you get? Two. You're not really 100% sure. You, you're just running at this point. That's fair. So, let's go ahead. Valentine, since you were the one who put us in this wonderful situation... <laughs> Let's go ahead and have you roll first to run towards the tree line. All right, so we're doing like athletics. Athletics, okay. athletics yeah. Okay, am I still down? 
A die or a That's yes. correct. Okay. Yeah, until you guys get a chance to heal, you're going to be down. Die. All right. So. Mm. Yeah, wild <laughs> die, man. First of the wild die. You flop onto your stomach, and all Whoa! the and all the air gets knocked out of you. Oh knocked out of you. <laughs> so now you're lying on the ground, and the dog is fast approaching. Fuzz. Let's go ahead and make an initiative roll, just so that we know how to, how to go about the order of this. And do we count down a die for initiative? No. Go ahead and roll four. And there's no re-rolling of sixes. Correct. On initiative, so it's just static. Just static agility. Well, not static, but right. No augmented. No augmented. Oh. Thirteen. Um, Valentine got a thirteen. What'd you get? Eleven. Grayson has the level. Yeah, fifteen. I got an. Uh, what did you get on your wild or on your wild die? A five. I got a five as well. Let's go ahead and roll off. Um, your, uh, I thought I had default to your okay. attribute. Okay, so yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so you're at three D. Yes. I'm at two D plus one. So you go first. All right. All right. So, be Jeff, myself, Mike, and so Jeremy, and then the dog. Yep, Jeremy, and then and then Pooch. We'll call him Old Red. All right, I'm going to take my one of the daggers that I grabbed. Okay. And throw it into the dog. The yeah. dog is really far away. He's like past the house that you guys ran out oh, of. Man. So if you want to throw away a dagger, you're more than welcome to. <laughs> I will prepare to throw it. Okay. All three of you got to the tree line successfully, so he's the only one who's not in the tree line. He's laying on the ground pretty much gasping for breath. So, do you want to do anything to help your friend, or do you want to save your own ass? Um, if you want to save your own ass, that's fine with me. I just wanted to, to double check and let you know what the situation was. I'll just be like, come on, get up! And wait with the dagger until he's up. Okay. Alright, I am actually going to take off my cl- my jacket Okay. and hang it from a, like, toss it over a branch that's on maybe ten feet up in the air. Okay. So just above where the dog had jumped to. So you, you're trying, you're going to... D- distract it with the scent. Distract it with the scent. Okay. And are you going to run or anything? Or? Yes. After I do that, I'm going to keep running towards the south. Okay, go ahead and make an agility check. Athletics or agility? Athletics, if you have it. Yeah. 17. Okay, so you're you're able to successfully navigate through the, through the forest without too much issue. Jeff, it is... Oh, I'm sorry, Jeremy, it's now your turn. All these J named people. But he goes, he has a thirteen. Oh yeah, he goes before Jeremy. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Go ahead and try and, and, and get up, Mike. All right. So, so we're doing agility again here. Yeah. Go ahead All and right. do agility to try and stand up. Eight. Okay, you're able to stand up, and you're able to start like running towards. All right. You're not going too fast because you're. <laughs> All right, I'm just kind of waddling over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sir. I guess I'm just getting a crossbow bolt ready. Okay. ready. I'm not going to shoot it yet. Okay, sounds good. I, I mean, mean, but looking past there, are there any guards following? You see some guards that are, like, interested in the dog, and Valentine is probably... He's not terribly far from the woods. But the dog is going to eat up ground quick. All right, so can I give... I want to go next to Jeff's character and say something really quickly. Okay. And then try and do my action. Okay, go ahead. Well, based on how Jeff's character responds. I'm going to kneel right next to you on the opposite side of the tree, point at my crossbow and says, I got this. Go ahead. All right. I take off. Okay. And I'm going to try and cast invis- invisibility okay. on, on him? Valentine. Okay. All right. It's not going to just wreck the scent, but it will definitely keep the guards from seeing. Right. Hopefully the dog will be interested in my jacket long enough to... <laughs> to track you down better. Yeah. Dude, well, even no, if I spent all my points, I still can't get it. I'm just trying to... It's a hound, Jeff. <sighs> didn't we, like in the previous games, say that you could spend a hero point to re-roll? It was add, add there was add six as well, but... So you try, and he's still in existence, yeah, able to be seen. And so now it's the dog's turn. Mm-hmm. The dog is going to run as fast as he can, because he wants to be first to get to Valentine. 
Oh, he rolled a seven. So we'll say that he's moving pretty quickly. Covers about 20 feet worth of ground. Okay, top of the round. So, Jeff? Well, I'm going to continue on. So, uh, okay. athletics. The woods. So, go ahead and roll an th- athletics check. Still down one? Yes. Yep. Okay. Until you get healed, you are still down one. Nice. What Ten. Happens. Ten? Okay, so yeah, you're successful in keeping on your feet and moving to the uh, moving in deeper into the forest. You're going to need three complete success checks to, um, to make, make it, to it the into water. the water. So go ahead and, and make yourself like a little track, like a little, like three boxes, mm-hmm. just to check off and let me know which one's where you are in that track now so okay. as we go along. So I've already had one success in running through. Right. So I'm just keep running. Okay. Was that three more or eleven? Three total. Three total. Okay. So you you just had your second success. Yeah. Uh, who's next? Uh, Mike. Mike. Valentine. I try to regain. I guess <laughs> the window might prep. Yep. Get moving again. Okay. So go ahead and roll agility. Oh Are you kidding me? <laughs> you trip again. <laughs> this time it's not as bad as as when you got the breath knocked out of you, but now you're definitely afraid that the dog is going to jump on top of you. <laughs> I, I think it was meant for one of us to, to perish in this game, and it might be me. <laughs> I am trying not to make it lethal, yeah. guys, I promise. Oh, I can run. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who's turn next? Yeah. Have the guards noticed? Mm. Uh, um, even or odd? Odd that they have not noticed. Even that they have noticed. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Odd. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to try again to cast invisibility. Okay. Oh, that's much better. Much better. Uh, 19. Dang it, I have to spend two to get to 27. Is it worth it? I'm spending. Because the dog will still. I, th- I know the dog, but then. But the, the, uh, people you, thinking that it's it's a dog just yeah, chasing a rabbit is one thing. Yeah. I love it. I'm making you spend. Are you points. keeping track of if any guard has looked in the they, cell? We just looked. Oh, in the cell? In the cell. Even or odd. Jeff! Even or odd, Jeff. Even they do odd, they don't. Odd. It was odd. Odd. You're fired, guy. <laughs> Come back to me, Lucky Red. <laughs> no. The thing's evil. That's I fear we had another couple minutes at least before they. Yeah. Okay. Uh, dog. Dog. Dog is fast. Dog wants to kill. Dog's mm. thing disappeared, but that doesn't matter. Dog can still smell it. Dog sees me and looks at it. Dog rolled an eight. Rib. Dog covers another 15, 20 feet. And he stops and he's... So he's, not, he's really close. He's really close. Basically, if I botch again... You have a pistol. Me. Yeah. You have a no, pistol. No pistol. But if, the, if I shoot... Way too loud. No yeah. pistol. Way no too loud. Let's see. Do I have anything here? What's no over that might do something else here? Uh, chanting. <laughs> you heard that story, right? Were in a shadow run game, there were a group of people that were following a, a cult of some <clears throat> sort and down into this pit. So they decided to lower <laughs> one guy down. So there's one guy, and there's like three or four guys up on the rope lowering him down. Mm. And the GM is like, oh, you start to hear some weird chanting and like elvish or something. It's like, but you can't see anything. Okay. So he, he, he says, says I like, shout up to the top. I hear chanting. <laughs> GM says, chanting, the chanting stops. stops. <laughs> the people at the top of, <laughs> of the of the whole say, let go of the rope <laughs> and walk away. <laughs> 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 anyway, back to this game. Okay. It's very valid for sure. Um, is, do I see anything like any sharp objects around me on the ground? You see a few. Wait, even a rod. Odds have been working for us. Yes, go for odd. Oh, he switched to the red dot. Even! No! <laughs> <laughs> he did! 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 He did
You don't God. see anything. Just get it out there. I go still double for the dog. If I botch again, I got maybe one last <laughs> to shepherd it. Go ahead. Do what you want to do. Um, <laughs> don't let your friends tell you otherwise. I'm not using the pistol. Don't worry. The last stitch ever, and this might be hilarious too. Maybe it's to do. Your boy. Your no, boy. No, yeah. No, all right. Gonna all right. I'm gonna try to get away. Hopefully. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and roll your agility. agility here. If you want to crawl on your hands and knees, that's okay. <laughs> I do have hero points, just so yes. you know. I might use a hero points. <laughs> well, well, roll, 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 roll first. Yeah. Roll first. Let's see if it needs to be. Oh. <laughs> Yes. You might want to use two. Of them. So what do we have? Yeah. yeah. So we only have a three available right now. Yes. Yeah. You'll want to use two. All right. Use two. <laughs> okay. So you're able to you're able to get up off the ground and start running towards the woods. <laughs> you still need three successes to get to the river. This is like high high adrenaline working on you now. All right, Grayson. Hand me your hand me your chips. Okay. We're going to cash those babies in. All right. So now that I, I realize he is invisible, do I see the rustling of the... Yes. You okay. see... You can, like, see, like, the footprints in the grass. Okay. Um, kind of gonna... like the duffel putt. I'm right? going to try and shoot the dog in the hindquarters. Okay. And then cast invisibility on the arrow. That would take a die away from both of those. Yeah, it yeah, would, but it'd be hilarious. He's already... And, it, and I, no, I know. No, no. But I it would be hilarious. I need to rack up some hero points before I start to use magic. Thing. At least those spells. Yeah. Pretty close range, though. Yeah, it's close range. So you have a better shot. Six. The arrow zips past the dog. Dog's turn? Mm-hmm. Dog's turn. And the arrow just flew at him. Dog has a new target. Oh, well, zip past him. Yeah, but he's like, wow. And then he looks he looks back at the direction that the arrow came. Oh dogs look at where the thing went to. This is a this is an attack dog. He knows he's dead. Is it a dog or a goodness. This is not a dog. It's a GM control dog. It's a hound of Master <laughs> uh, The dog starts running towards you now. The dog rolled um, much better than he did previously. He rolled fifteen. Wow. To get to you. So he's covering ground pretty quickly. Um, he's kind of confused because he can still smell you really close by, but he doesn't see you. So he's going to go to, towards the more immediate threat, which uh, is the guy who just shot a crossbow bolt at him. Uh, so we're at the top of the round. So Jeff, you you go next. Demetrius. Success. What'd you get? Uh, 15... You're good. Okay. So that's your second success? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. A nine. That's not a success. Uh, okay. You can make it a success. I could make it a success, but I'm still one round ahead of him, so. Okay. All right. Uh, you don't need to be faster than the bear. <laughs> the bear. Just faster than your friend. Yes. That's right. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's Valentine's turn. Mm hmm. Then when we get to the room, yeah, make sure that wraps so really quick. So you can now, now that you're up and running, you're you're like towards the, you're at the tree line at this point. So go ahead and make your first attempt to get to the river. Ten. Ten, yeah. Okay. Success. Good. So you are you have two more successes that you need to make to reach the river safely. All right. Even or odd. Are you using the red die? Yes. Oh, look, look, look. What's Even. 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 Even, so the 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 dog the soldier has lost interest in the dog. He thinks the dog is just chasing a rabbit. Okay. Mike, even or odd? Even. Odd. <laughs> you start hearing somebody yelling, "The door's been broken! The door's been broken!" Um, is the dog's turn? No, I go for the dog. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot him. You're gonna shoot the dog. Point blank. Okay. You're tired of this dog. Tired of the dog. It's point blank, so that should be easy, right? Yeah, that'll be easy. So that's like so five. five, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a three, so <laughs> I used my last hero point until the dog. I um, can say something else. And stupid dog. I love it. You guys have been rolling low this entire session. We do. Oh. 
Oh, come on. Yes! A five. Uh, I rolled a zero. So the dog is now wounded. That reduces his speed. Yeah, so he, he drops down in speed. Yeah, just wounded. Okay. Yeah, I was definitely trying, still trying to shoot it in his hindquarters so it couldn't land. Yep. Realizing that Valentine has passed me, I'm dropping invisibility. <clears throat> okay, so now Valentine can be seen. Can be seen. Okay. But you're still not running. Well, I'm in the tree. I mean. Right, but you you still need to make three successes to get to the river. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right, so that puts us back to Jeff. Are we still well, in? It's the, dog's turn. Or the dog. The dog only gets one die. Lucky red. The dog only got a five. So he he was pretty close to you, so he was able to cover the rest of the distance. But he's not going to attack this round. Because he's just trying to make it up the distance. Uh, but next time, choppy choppy. So now it's Jeff's turn. All right. My third success getting through the woods to the water was uh, a 14. Okay. Fantastic. Johnny? 12. Okay. Success. Mike? (laughs) (laughs) You got a five. Uh, Yeah. uh, so, So not a success. So you still need two successes. Uh, and then Jeremy. All right, and shooting the dog in the hindquarters. Like the dog is well, well, even or odd. Oh gosh. A five. No, I three. I can't read upside down. Well, it's a red die, so I definitely would have said even. Okay. So, um, so at this point, the dog is slowing down. You can tell that he's lost some blood from the injury, so he's not as strong as he was previously. And also, he's in terms of game mechanics, he's down one die anyway. Yes, but so am I. What's your agility? 3D. His is only 2D plus one. So you're... A die ahead. So you're you're going to be faster than he is. Possibly. Yeah. In terms There's of... There's no guarantee at it, this it, point, because since I'm only rolling two, right. if it's a Kick one, it. it could be zero. Right, but the dog is at one. Look, look, you're right here on point blank. Kick it and run. Why kick it when I can shoot it in one? <laughs> well, if you're trying not to kill it. I don't care if the dog lives. Okay. So I'm going to shoot it and then start to run. Okay. Now the run count as a separate double that, action. That would count as a separate action, yes. You have to get five to kill. No, because that's going to reduce my agility down to one. Yeah, you would have... Uh, oh, gosh. Five, four, I'm just gonna shoot it. three... The nine. Okay. You shoot the dog. Um, In the other hind quarter. Okay. Fourteen. I rolled a one. The dog is dead. Fifteen. <laughs> Fine! <laughs> I think you're more frustrated about this dog than you were about the archers. Yes! <laughs> Gosh, man, this dog is more OP than the archers. Archers, one shot and one kill. All right. Mm-hmm. So, dog's done. Dog Jeff's at the river. Jeff's at the river. Uh, so that means you're up next, Johnny? Oh, no, the river also. You're at the river? Okay. Mike? Yeah, All at right. the river, I want to look and see if there's anything I can fetch like a quick raft out of. Yeah, are there any or previously made or rafts? Success. Or... Uh, go ahead and roll an investigation check. Can that one is well? under... Which one's that under? That would be a wit check. I think you don't have that already. Oh, yeah. Search right there. <laughs> Six. So you don't see any boats or anything like that, but you can drag a log over and see how that works. Is there an already fell log? Oh, there's one. Or is there more, more than one, I should say? There's only one. Okay. And it, it looks like it would only hold up like maybe one of you. Yeah. You'll each have to do your own log check. I was hoping I could fashion some kind of quick raft. Yep. Nope. Use my carpentry knowledge. I'm not that nice. Okay, uh, so Johnny, now it's Jeff's turn. I'm um, um, Mike's turn. Yeah, I rolled a nine. Nine? Okay, so... That's a fail. That is a fail unless you want to spend that one last hero point. Okay. I may have to. <laughs> Spending it. <laughs> That's two successes. Two successes, okay. Um, so now it's your turn for a first quick jaunt through the woods. Yeah. Yeah, we need to get out of here. Quick. We need to get healed. Yeah. Eight. Nope. Not a success. So you, I'm not going to make it, guys. You're tripping over underbrush and everything. Seriously, I'm not going to make it. Okay. Um, it sounds like more commotion is coming from the compound. 
but it doesn't sound like they're coming towards you yet. Okay, so Mike, it's your turn again. All right. So you need one last success to get to the yes. river. Yeah, you got it. Okay. okay. How wide is the river? Oh, it's it's wide. It's a good about fifty yards plus. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is like the equivalent yeah. of the Thames. Yeah, I, I get that. The other question is, how fast is the current flowing where we're at? Uh, it's not flowing very fast, only like a couple miles. Okay. I mean, it's not going to sweep you into a rapid, if that's what yeah. you're asking. It is winter, though. Yeah, and you wrote it. Yes. Well, the cold water just slow the blood flow. It's your turn, Jeremy. The only thing I can do is try to make it, I mean, because even if I try to sneak, it's still the same roll. Yeah. Nine. Okay, I'll give it to you. Um, you you're at the river. He's at the river. He's at the river. Um, and you found a log. Does anybody want to do investigation to look for boats or anything like that? Yes, yes. I want to look for a raft. Okay, go okay. ahead. Raft, boat, any kind of dock or anything. Something. Get away in like, water. <laughs> is there anything within eyesight? Seventeen. You see a dock down, like a little a, about. 200 yards down that way. Alright. And there's a boat tied up. Yes. Yes. Boat, 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 boat. Um, go so, ahead and keep running. How many more successes do you need? Seven. <coughs> I'm not going to make it with 2D. Does anybody want to help him? You can. How, how can we help him? So here, here's my quick ruling. If you say that you're helping him, we'll imagine that the game fiction is that you're going back into the woods to search for him. If you guys right. can match a 10 together, you successfully find I'm him. I'm going to help him. And give him a I'm success. I'm going to try and help this well. well y'all don't, Only one no. person can help oh. I'll help him, and then we'll, we'll redirect in the woods towards the... Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. So, I roll. We come back to him. 12. Okay. And so, between the two of you, uh, you guys... So, how many successes success. do we need to get to the dock? Um, we're going to maintain the three. Okay. Another three to get to the dock. Yeah, so you've had two successes now with that assist. Oh, okay, if you're counting that as an assist. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so basically you're, you're working together. He rolled successfully to help you. So here's what we'll do. We'll say he has to roll 10 to help you. And then that gives you however much you need if you don't make it on your own. So, so like if you roll... If I don't roll 10, he has to roll 10 and then that's Exactly, and then that, that okay. acts as an assist. Right. So, yes, we want to go... This way to get to the dock. Okay. So you've had two successes at this point. Okay. So I'm rolling again with an 11. All right. It's like, it's like ah, I got this. <laughs> you touch the grate. Don't touch me. <laughs> okay. So you guys make it to the dock. You climb her into the boat. And you take off. Woohoo! Yay! We didn't die. Yet. 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 <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a very short break and we will be back in just a moment. Do you enjoy video games, role playing games, Dungeons and Dragons, comic books, and other geeky things? Then tune in to the Geekery in General podcast at poigamestudio.podbean.com. Each week, we'll take a look at topics of geek interest for your listening pleasure. All right, so you all have successfully gotten into the boat. We'll say that you got past the river without too much difficulty because the guards had not noticed the dog, and they were probably still searching the grounds to see if they could find you after they discovered that the door had broken down. So we'll give you a little bit of a break there and and say that you're able to get away and... Um, take the river all the way back down into Dinium without too much issue. So, how about we say that, because this is not something that you want being made public, we go ahead and we go to... I think we need to contact Lord Dudley. You could contact Lord Dudley, uh, but you also have injuries that you need to take care of. So it might not be a bad idea to go to your favorite underground apothecary. Oh, true. Yeah, I got that. The um, underground apothecary was a location that was worked into the game 
yeah. uh, based off of the fiasco set that we had used to actually create the characters. So tell me a little bit about or the secret apothecary. What did they do there? Like, is it some place where you can well, ne'er do wells go for? They do that voodoo that you do so well. <laughs> <laughs> well they do some ne'er do well healings. Uh-huh. But it's it's mostly just illegal Dreams. poisons and cures that are not uh, state sanctified. Okay. Um, is there a name for it, or does it not operate with it? the white rabbit? <laughs> oh, wait, this is the Matrix. <laughs> We're gonna go with uh, the name is the uh, Schumans. 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 It doesn't pro- proclaim itself as an apothecary, but it's like one of those back room. It's a front room, but it's a cobbler. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The Schumans. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Somebody's talking. Wait, that's my job. <laughs> Minus two D, two D to all your rolls. <laughs> okay. You heard him. He said plus three D to all my rolls. <laughs> so you you all are able to, to sneak through the town and everything like that, and you're able to get to Schumann's without too much issue. Let's go ahead and see what, what we can do to get you healed up here. So we're going to say that the pocket theory, because you're going there for healing... Um, we'll use 5D for a healing check. Characters with the medicine skill can attempt to help others heal more quickly. A skill check may be made once per day for each uh, patient treated. On a successful roll, the patient heals one wound level. So you're all at wounded right now. Yes. Right. So if we heal you now, then you would be back to normal. Back to normal, pretty much. So I'm going to go ahead and say that the apothecary, because it's unless a fight breaks out in the in the uh, uh, <laughs> apothecary. Then. Uh, well, you know, we're going to say that the apothecary just has five D for a check, and we're going to make the check at a, a moderate level. No, we'll say eleven. We'll oh. make it on the low end. Try and be nice to you guys. I hope you reach a level with five D. You roll one, 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 two, one. I rolled an eight. For who? We'll say for the smart mouth who was talking about <laughs> the healing That's levels. Okay. I can try. Okay. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and roll for uh, Grayson. Grayson. Fate does not want you to be healed. I just rolled a seven. Let I'm me try more, this again. I'm more healed than you are. Not by much. There we go. This is for both of you. 20, 21. So both of you get healed. Yay. Now we'll go ahead and go for your side of the table as well for Mike and Jeff. Fourteen, you're both healed. Yes. Cool. So now you can go ahead and uh, if you want to meet with Lord Walshin again, you're more than welcome to. I think we definitely should at least inform him what we know thus far. Okay. So you're going to head back to the Seven Stars Ale House. Well, we don't necessarily need to have a meeting with him, but we should at least leave a note for him. Or you could send a runner. Yeah, send a runner. That's a good thing you have Toad. It is. I go, check the time, see where Toad should be. Mm-hmm. Check the day in case we missed one. Good, good point. Because <laughs> we were all KO, so. Yeah. It looks like you had been out for at least a day. It's about four in the evening at this point. Okay. And you know that Toad was at the Farthings estate. On this time of day. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, those farthings. Yes. They treat us well. So I start uh, strolling that direction. Lock the door, no one answers. (laughs) (laughs) Huh? What? What? (laughs) Oh, I'm in here doing science. I'm in here doing alchemy. (laughs) Butler opens. Sir, my name is Bernard. Yes, yeah, so I head to the Farthing's estate and see if I can catch up to Toad. Hello, sir. Hello, Toad. How can I help you today? Ah. And look, look, it's very clean in here. It is. You did an excellent job. Excellent job. Thank you, sir. Excellent job. Are they treating you well here? They gave me a plate of food. They always do, these good people. All I right. think it had some poison in it. I doubt it, but... That, sir, was pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they treat you real good exotic stuff today. 
I've never had pineapple mixed with rabbit before. I was a little weird. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I need you to uh, run a little errand for me. Okay. Uh, I'll finish up here for you. Oh, gee, thanks. So. Where do you need me to go? need you to run this letter and I give him a sp- specific drop point that we... Like a dead drop? Yeah. Okay. All right, sir. I'll be. I'll take this away right away. Do you, Do you need me to to do any other jobs today? Um. What's next on the schedule for today? I think the next job is the renter house. The renter house. All right. Uh. Well, they've already given me some dinner, so yes. Go ahead. And head over to the renter house right after this. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. And you take some. And. And I finish up the little bit left that he yeah. has in the house. Uh, pretty much all he had to do was fold up the cloths and clean up a little and, bit and settle the bill. And yeah. so he was good to go. So you've pretty much you've informed the Lord and everything like that. The job is still not done. No, it's not done. No, but uh, That's, but we just had to inform him what we knew. Exactly. A recap of what we do know. Yes. And uh, Grayson is going to leave a note at the <clears throat> home of the Becketts. Mm-hmm. Addressed to Cyril. What are you going to say in your note? It says in the note, Cyril. Did I mention that we would get out? And then it goes on to say, Thanks for the info that you are working for the Densham family. I know that they are a bit of recluse, but they would hate for any public scrutiny to get cast on them because of the Rosemary incident, which would go into the public eye very quickly. So, that secret will be safe with me. If you return our personal effects, okay. you can leave them with the Seven Stars Tavern and let the bartender know that these items are for Oliver Ryan Jameson. Oliver Ryan <laughs> Jameson. Oh, Ryan. <laughs> Rosalie Secret, correct? Rosemary. Rose Marie. In the meantime, Toad has delivered his message, and he's going to go visit his friend Vanessa. Oh. Anyway, Demetrius. Yes. Do you have anything that you would like to do? Go back over to uh, the guild. The horologist guild house? Yes, that one. <clears throat> uh, request for new tools and spectacles. It's going to cost you. I know it's going to, but I need them. We don't do credit. Do you have enough liquid funds to afford those resources? Out of game, do I? Probably not. I mean... But for the tools, probably not. Well, everything would be tied up in his shop. So, mm-hmm. I mean, I can see you having, like, a personal set of tools. Um, it Wouldn't it be... Like, the ones that you carry, wouldn't those just be, like, what you would need to do, find repairs if you had to go to somebody's house? Yeah. So, you probably have another set of those at home. The spectacles are what's really kind of hard because they're going to have to deal with another another guild to get you a set of those. Mm-hmm. Glasses are expensive. Because mm-hmm. glass, think about it this way, glass in and of itself is it's hard to make. really hard to make. Yeah. So, and to grind it down to a specific, like it t- probably will take like several tries to grind the lens just right. I hope he... His note gets them to return our stuff. We'll find out. Yeah, we will find out. He's probably going to be a jerk about it. No. No, <laughs> not, not Cyril. Um, I will see what I have and then return to you with what I have in return for spectacles. All right, sounds good. Spectacles. Ba- uh, Valentine, do you have anything that you would like to do? Um... I don't think there's really anything I need to do here because I don't think there's anything that really relates okay. to any of my missions here. So. Do, you, do you have any ladies that you're calling upon at this time? Um, There was the one. Oh, really? What was her name? Giselle, yes. Well, she was the French... She was yes. The, she was the um, the wife of the diplomat, but you yeah. know, you're probably not on the tights with her. Yeah, I mean, that's the only one I really had any kind of ties to, but I don't know if it's a really good idea to try to get back together with her because right. uh, her, her media family and all that are served them probably not too happy with me right now. So. Probably not. 
So yeah, I might just kind of lay low for the time being. You don't have anybody else like a that you might have been working on the side to. You know, not. I don't think as of right now. I mean, well, there was a. Uh, there was an Alice. There was I don't know Alice. if she would remember me or not, because that was kind of a. That was kind of quick. A uh, quick swing fling there, you know. Okay, but you don't think she would be interested in revisiting uh, golden times? She might be. I mean, I could always give a holler and see if she remembers. Where Where did you meet her? Ah, uh, where did I meet her? I met her actually outside of um. One of the castle quarters where I used to do my uh, circus acts. Oh, so she was, was she working in the castle? She was. I believe she was uh, one of the maids. Oh, you could always go and Yeah, and, see. and you know, I, I still had some good, you know, rapport in that castle. You know, nothing really went too wrong there. They, they liked my abilities and what I was able to do there. So. Okay. So, yeah, you find Alice and everything seems to be going pretty well and... Uh, you're able to ask her out for dinner, so okay. You have a nice little reprieve where you have a, a wonderful dinner of roast fowl and Brussels sprouts, and uh, just enjoy the company of Alice. And she's very dazzled because it's not often that, that an actor takes an interest and in I someone like her. her. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Well, Alice, you know, I mean, the work you do and just that smile and your charm. How can I forget somebody like you? Well, it has been two years. Two years and I thought about you every single day. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. I, I can't believe that you remembered me. Well, you have some unique charm to you. Thank you so much. We'll just call that yes. a scene right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up there at this point. This feels like a natural point to end the session for today. So thank you so much for listening. If you uh, enjoyed the show, please feel free to rate us on iTunes or uh, just go ahead and tell a friend about us. Uh, and uh, if you want to go ahead and reach out to us, please feel free to visit the website and leave us a comment on any of our episodes uh, that we just posted. Hope you have a good one. Thanks so much. Thank you for listening to Bone Growers Theater. Our cast is Jeff, Jeremy, Johnny, Mike, and Jordan. We are releasing this podcast under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivatives, 3.0, unported license. That means that you can share the podcast, but please do not modify it or try to gain financially from it. If you would like to visit our website, you can do so at bonethrowerstheater.com. If you would like to send us an email, you can do so at bonethrowerstheater at gmail.com. Our Twitter handle is at bonethrowerstheater. And also you can look us up on Facebook and Google+. And until next time, may the bones fall ever in your favor. This has been a Nerd Circle podcast production.